Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of a mostly cloudy Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update, and we begin our day with that mixed bag out there. you got the Dow trading up 81 points. The S&P is down 29 points. The NASDAQ 100 down 287. The Russell is up 3.5%. That's a 71-point move there. Semi's down 115. Trend is up 246. New York Stock Exchange up 164 points. We've got gold up 44 bucks. Silver's up 81 cents, 2 and 6 tenths percent of a move there. Light three crude is up 6 tenths or 46 pennies. Natural gas is down 4 cents. The 30 Treasury up nearly 1.5 points, printed out at 120.04. Let's figure out what all that means by looking at that nine panel market update chart will begin with the es mini upper left hand side what do we know about it well what we know about it is if we do get a bearish reversal candle today that will generate a sell the d point pattern that sell the d point pattern would take us back to support i'm looking at a different screen that first level of support is at 56.43 a close below that and we would see a move down to 53.76 now, the key to that with regard to the ES Mini, with regard to the S&P 500, is now going to be the spot volatility. It's tested and it's rejected so far. It's 50-day exponential moving average. The 50-day is now printed at 1297. We're trading at 1281. If we close above by 1297 out there, that's going to shift control of the markets for the S&P 500 back to the sellers. If we take a look at the NQ, the NQ, we talked about its TD9 count pattern yesterday. Now we've got a sell the deep, a potential sell the deep point pattern today. You already have a key reversal bar. In other words, we've exceeded yesterday's high and yesterday's low. We've got a bearish engulfing. We've got a bearish sash candle. We got it all inside the NQ, but we also have a new profile. And that new profile that's attempting to form, we won't have a confirmation of that until 6.01 this evening. But right now, we use the data. And that data says you've got support between 20, 397 and 2632. U.S. dollar index getting crushed, mostly because of the uh, uh, strength inside the uh, Japanese yen. So we'll certainly take a look at those currencies uh, during the uh, Trader's Edge show. Gold trained above the top of its smaller consolidation pattern, maybe targeting the 20. 470 level that would be the top of its larger consolidation silver is trying to break out above trend line resistance out there if it can do that it should go tackle the highs from may 21st light three crude is just a consolidation pattern with inside its profiles the uh, natural gas is testing its td9 count bottom so far that is held and a 30-year treasury is trading into a sell zone that sell zone is between 11907 and 12020 folks stay tuned for the trader's edge show we drop to start your Thursday. Have a terrific one. Thanks for joining us, and we'll look forward to speaking with you again soon. Take care now.